for this problem, Sheila just invented, invested some money, and Dang wants to invest the same, he wants to invite, invest a certain amount of money today, such that in seven years from now, he'll have the same that Sheila has in seven years from now. Now, the issue with this is that Sheila is investing her seven years at compound interest of 5.2%, and Dang, he's not earning compound interest, he's earning simple interest, and he's also earning 5.8% as opposed to 5.2%. So, again, let's lay it all out, see what we've got, and go ahead and solve and decide, determine how much Dang needs to invest today so that seven years from now, he'll have the same amount of money that Sheila has seven years from now. And since with Sheila, in her case, she's in earning interest that's compounded annually, or actually it's 5.2% it's per year. We don't know what the compound period is, so um, we can skip that part. And we know that she's putting money in today, and we want to know how much she'll have in seven years. Uh, so the smallest increment from that is a year. So when we draw our timeline, having each notch represent a year is appropriate. We know that Sheila, and we'll use blue for Sheila, is putting in $4,800 today. And we know that it's going to compound one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times before it gets to seven years. And each time, it's going to be expected to earn 5.2%. So how much will Sheila have? Well. She'll simply have $4,800 times 1.052, which is 1 plus the rate. So again, we're using the equation that the future value at time 7 is equal to the amount invested today times 1 plus the interest rate take it to the power of 7. She puts this in, it grows by 5.2% per year for 7 years. And what is that equal? That is equal to Now, Dang, Dang is going to make an investment. He's going to make an investment today. But now Dang is going to be earning simple interest. Remember, compound interest, you earn interest on interest, and that's why in the equation you're taking it to the power of 7. With, with simple interest, you only earn interest on the original principal. So Dang's going to invest a certain amount of money, and in the first year, get 5.8% of that. The second year, get 5.8% of that. The third year, get 5.8% of that. Get that for all seven years. So for Dang, how much is Dang going to have in seven years? Dang's going to have the original amount invested plus the original amount invested times seven years of interest times 5.8% interest, which is the simple rate that Dang is going to earn. So that is how much Dang will have in seven years from today. So that is equal to the amount that's initially invested, plus if you punch seven times 0 0.058 in your calculator, you get 0.406. So however much Dang invests today, seven years from now, he will have 1.406 times that. Therefore, if in seven years Dang wants to have that much, that is equal 
to 1.406 times the amount originally invested, which is what we're trying to solve for. So therefore, the amount that Dang should invest today is equal to $6,844.65. Divided by 1.406, which comes out to $4,868.17. So it's interesting that Dang actually earns a higher rate per year, but because it's simple and you're not getting the interest on the interest, Dang actually needs to invest more today than Sheila does in order for them both to have the same amount in seven years.